for much of its life, a chart was a static thing that you were basically stuck with. Once you had a chart, you couldn't really do much to it, like say, filter things out. Well, since Excel 2013, we have been able to filter a normal chart uh, directly in the chart itself. So when we click on the chart, you'll notice on the right hand side that we have a plus, we have a paintbrush, and we have a little filter icon. The filter icon is where I can go to filter the chart. I click on it and I can come down here and select and say, okay, I don't need to see the southeast. And then at the bottom I would click apply and you would see that the southeast is now gone. So if I wanted to filter out a certain uh, region, a certain quarter, if quarter four, if I bring southeast back, but quarter four isn't complete yet, I could uncheck quarter four and just show three quarters worth of data so far. And this is something that you can do on and off. You just click apply and you can bring things kind of back. Now, if you, un if you select all again, if you uh, unselected a lot of things, you'd be able to select all and click apply. These are the values right here. If I go to the names, it's possible that I could hide certain things I don't want to see. Quarter one, two, three, and four. Categories, you can see right here. So we have the name values as well. Now this is something that's transitory. It's something that you can simply turn on and off, but it's still technically part of your chart. There's another way to basically leave something out. So if my chart accidentally included There we go. If it had included the total sales amount, well that's gonna mess everything up because the year to date is basically going to double everything. And sure, going over here and filtering, I get rid of it, but that's not really what I want for something like that. So first of all, you're like, well, you could have just not done that and you could of course come back here and resize it and that's true. Now the other thing is we saw previously that there is a select data button up here. If I click the select data button, you can also uncheck things here and they'll go away. When you uncheck them there, it's the same ideas right here. So I can uncheck them there and it would be the same idea. If I went so far as to select it and remove it, and say okay, then it's actually gone. So this is especially true a lot of times when you have like subtotals in the middle of your data, you, it's not gonna be easy to select around it. Sure, a year to day at the end, yeah, you just don't select it. But if there was something halfway through, this way you could go there and you could actually select it and remove it and it would create a much more kind of complicated range. So your data range at the top here would be a little bit more complicated, but you wouldn't have that weird little subtotal halfway through or something like that. So you can both use the select data to permanently filter things out so that's not included, or we can use the filter to momentarily take things out or even permanently take things out, but with the option of returning it back in if I wanted to bring that information back into my chart. We hope this video helped. Make sure to click the thumbs up and click the subscribe button right here. And click the link above to check out our Limelight classes, a free virtual live training. See you in the next video.